to share that with you. Today I have with me in the studio my dearest friend. And Tiffany is a guidance counselor and she's passionate about self-care and healthy lifestyle. And Tiffany had me on air two years ago and has been a friend, a mentor, and a support for all. To take this opportunity again to thank you for your support, for your encouragement and your contribution in my life since we met two years ago. Thank you so much for making the time to come. And how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. Good. Women are always um, feeling unfulfilled, tired, stressed, worried, always having something to deal with, Madam Fanny. What, what do you think is causing this trend? Thank you very much, Coach Olivia. Um, in your intro, you said a scripture that's, that's one of my best scriptures. Okay. Lack of knowledge, my people perish. perish. So in regards to women not being able to fulfill their dreams, their goals, and being tired, being worn out, in certain point of your life it comes down to knowledge because when you are knowledgeable about what you are to do you are able to be focused yeah. you are able to balance your life yeah. and because of that you are in control yeah. so most women do not have knowledge and it is rather unfortunate most of us go through universities we are not taught some of those things yeah. but some of these programs help us to catch up and be able to say oh I like, I like that in my yeah, life. Yeah. Accepting that you need that knowledge. Knowledge is light. Yeah. So most of the time, because we lack the knowledge, as scripture says, lack of knowledge, my people pay. Perish. There are certain times, some things you have them in your house, you know how to, to, to organize certain things, but when it comes to certain particular thing, because you lack the knowledge in it, you cannot achieve it. And what I notice is when you're feeling uncomfortable, yeah. it means you need something to make you comfortable. You need more knowledge. You need to expand. Yeah. As soon as I start feeling uncomfortable about something, I try to delve into it. Why? I need to know more. That's why it's making me uncomfortable. So discomfort means you need more information yeah. so you can deal with it. So can our women also set goals and aspire to achieve their maximum potential in today's world with all the pressures on them? Can they set goals and achieve them? Of course we can. Of course. Depending on the knowledge that you have. Mm -hmm. When you have the knowledge, that is where self-awareness comes in. Yeah. Because if you are not aware of yourself, we have our productive role, we have our reproductive roles as women. So if we are not aware, that we, sometimes we just think that, oh, we are born into this planet to give back and to take care of, of husbands, take mm -hmm. care of people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and all of that we are just going, 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 going. And then we lack the knowledge that, no, I must come to a point in my life, I must be aware, as you are saying, you, you check yourself. Yeah. Sometimes there are certain sicknesses that come our way because we are not aware. aware. We are not in line with our bodies. Yeah, balance. Yeah. We are not balanced. So in setting goals and achieving them, indeed we can achieve it as women. Right. Right. If we are only aware and conscious, conscious efforts. Yeah. Because if we just leave everything like that and year in, year out, we still make the same resolution. Yeah, and then we don't achieve them. And we don't achieve them. So by the time it is January, February, by the time it is Valentine's Day, some of us are moving. <laughs> yeah, Valentine's Day. Yes, we have been forgotten. We've forgotten, and then we go back into default and do the same things we are doing and live the same yes. way we are living. And if we continue to do the same way and live the same way we, we are living in the previous then years, no then you will see no result. Even if we have all the goals. And sometimes women, we are not able to achieve our goals because we set goals that are not realistic. Mm -hmm. And setting our goals, we must have actionable goals yeah. that yeah. I need to take action. Yeah. Because not just writing them, not just listing them, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to do this. And then you just leave it like that. Yeah. You yeah. must take action. Good. Mom, as a woman, you have done so much for yourself in your home. You were able to do these things as a mother, a wife, a guidance counselor, and all that. How did you maintain focus? Through doing or do what I'm doing because I'm focused. And also, I realize that I can't do it alone. Networking. Yeah. Most women lack networking. And the thing that they can achieve it alone, you need other people. Yeah. There are certain times... You might be multitasking, but you are not seeing results and you get tired. So I am doing all of that and also training people around me. 
I believe in other people, yeah. and I believe that somebody has something that I can learn from. That's true. That's true. So balance the act. You can't just be a mother. You need the other areas of the eight dimensions of oneness of yeah, your life yeah. in check. Intellectual, spiritual, emotional, physical. Balance everything. Once you do that, you start having focus mm -hmm, to go after mm -hmm. your goals. I know you are very passionate about self-care and healthy lifestyle. Share with our cherished listeners your favorite self-care practice. What's your favorite self-care practice? Well, my favorite self-care practice is uh, self-love. Okay. I learned to practice that. When I was sick, I remember I've shared my story with you, and yeah. I was up and down, having contact, meeting here and there. But when I lie down in that sick bed for months, I realized that I, I've lacked something. Mm -hmm. Looking at the fact that most people that I expected to come and visit me on that sick bed didn't show up. 